4 canine health issues with Down syndrome like symptoms. All eukaryotes, including humans and canines, are susceptible to the same health issues. Dogs even have diseases strikingly similar to that of humans. For example, cognitive dysfunction syndrome in dogs is remarkably similar to dementia in humans. However, whether a dog can have Down syndrome is still a source of heated discussion. Down syndrome is a genetic disease due to the chromosome 21 defect in human cells. Although, studies have shown that Down syndrome can occur in chimps and other closely related species. There is no conclusive proof that dogs or other four-legged animals have Down syndrome. Dogs are different species with far more chromosomes than humans. Therefore, the effect of the anomaly on their chromosome 21 would be dissimilar to that of humans. Further, more canine genetic research is needed to determine more chromosome elaborations. However, dogs are examined and genetically tested far less compared to humans. Although Down syndrome might not occur in dogs, studies discovered numerous canine genetic defects with Down syndrome-like symptoms. Does your dog have Down syndrome-like markers? Then, read on to know what health conditions your dog might have. Here are four canine health issues with Down syndrome-like symptoms. 1. Congenital hypothyroidism Congenital hypothyroidism affects dogs from birth or during the first several years of their life. Puppies with hypothyroidism would not grow as quickly as other puppies of the same breed. Hypothyroid puppies have protruding tongues and eyeballs. Their legs may be shorter than they should be, which may lead to a distinctively strange walk. Abnormal bone formation in the head is frequent in affected pups, and goiter is possible. Further. They are prone to be physically and cognitively undeveloped. Hypothyroidism is primarily due to an inadequate amount of thyroid hormones. It is a chronic disorder possibly managed with thyroxine supplementation. If left untreated, dogs can develop myxedema coma, an uncommon illness in which lethargy progresses to comatoseness with a low heart rate, breathing rate, and body temperature. Such a situation is a life-threatening emergency that necessitates immediate medical attention. That said, Early diagnosis is vital, immediately consult your vet if you suspect that your dog has hypothyroidism. 2. Pituitary Dwarfism Similar to congenital hypothyroidism, pituitary dwarfism also manifests several symptoms suggestive of Down syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive disorder that is inheritable, unlike Down syndrome, in some dog breeds. The susceptible breeds include German Shepherds, Weimaraners, Spitz, Dachshunds, Corgis, Basset Hounds, Charlotte's Wolfdogs, and Czechoslovakian Wolfdogs. Although this irregularity is frequently hereditary, some are due to tumors, infections, cysts, and lack of development. Pituitary dwarfism is when a dog's pituitary gland produces insufficient growth hormone for biological processes. As a result, dogs have underactive thyroid glands, which dulls and lessens their mental capacity. They may experience renal failure from undeveloped kidneys and are mostly infertile. Without treatment, affected dogs would live for about only four years with poor quality of life. Fortunately, with a suitable treatment plan, dogs with pituitary dwarfism might have an extended life with better quality of life. That is why immediate consultation with your vet is crucial. However, these treatment plans are costly but have to continue for the rest of the dog's life. 3. Congenital Hydrocephalus Another disorder easily confused with Down syndrome is congenital hydrocephalus. Affected pups usually have a big soft spot on top of a dome-shaped skull and eyes that seemingly stare downward. However, not all puppies with large fontanels have hydrocephalus. Other symptoms include abnormal walking and behavior, spinning or falling over on one side, and failure to learn basic commands. Dogs susceptible to this ailment are small breeds and dogs with shorter faces. That includes Boston Terrier, Chihuahuas, English Bulldog, Manchester Terrier, Pekingese, Toy French Poodle, and Yorkshire Terrier. Congenital hydrocephalus is an ailment characterized by excessive cerebrospinal fluid CSF, buildup in the skull. CSF in the brain builds up when there is excess CSF production or the flow or absorption of CSF stops. That causes increased pressure within the skull, which puts strain on the brain's sensitive regions. That pressure also causes the distinctive dome-shaped skull of affected dogs. 
This disorder is highly fatal, but there are cases of dogs surviving after treatment. However, they are likely to have permanent and irreversible brain damage due to the high intracranial pressure they experienced. So, if your dog has acute apple head, you might want to consult your vet immediately. That way, you would know if your dog's apple head is a sign of hydrocephalus or not. 4. Portosystemic Shunt Yet another probable cause of Down syndrome-like markers, including small stature and behavioral abnormalities, is the portosystemic shunt. It is a disease considered congenital, and several dog breeds are susceptible to it. That includes miniature schnauzers, Yorkshire Terriers, Irish Wolfhounds, Cairn Terriers, Maltese, Australian Cattle Dogs, Golden Retrievers, and Old English Sheepdogs. Aside from congenital cases, there are also acquired PSS due to hepatic hypertension. An acquired portosystemic shunt may develop at any age and in any dog breed. Portosystemic shunt is a health issue distinguished by an irregular connection between the systemic and portal vascular systems. It causes the blood to bypass the liver and enter the systemic circulation directly from the abdominal organs. As a result, the liver lacks essential hepatotropic factors to grow to the proper size. The liver's failure to develop, referred to as hepatic atrophy, can lead to hepatic encephalopathy. Affected dogs would exhibit neurological signs like involuntary swaying, seizures, and blindness due to hepatic encephalopathy. Conclusion It is difficult to claim that Down syndrome occurs in dogs due to a lack of scientific data. The notion of dogs having Down syndrome stems from people noting Down syndrome-like markers in their dogs. That includes a flattened face, slanted eyes, undeveloped limbs, and hearing problems. However, these indicators are likely due to other health conditions that are easily confused with Down syndrome. That includes pituitary dwarfism, congenital hydrocephalus, portosystemic shunt, growth hormone deficiency, and congenital hypothyroidism. That said, dog parents should immediately consult their vet once they notice their dogs have symptoms suggestive of Down syndrome. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.